Okay, thank you very much, and thanks uh, for the invitation. Uh, this, the subject of my talk will be partial hyperbolicity and three-dimensional manifolds. So first, let me try to motivate a little bit its study. So the, the, the first thing is the following result in dimension two, which is kind of uh, where I started studying this kind of things uh, is the, there is a theorem by Mania and Franks which essentially characterizes uh, C1 robust transitivity in surfaces as a loss of diffeomorphisms in the torus. So this, this result in dimension 3 was extended, uh, Mania's result was extended by Diaz, Pushas, and Ures showing that uh, partial hyperbolicity is a uh, necessary condition for robust transitivity. Okay, so it's, it's in this sense that uh, what I, I'm studying about partial hyperbolicity uh, appears. Okay, so it's important to remark that in the dimension two case, uh, the, the converse statement of uh, showing that an also systems are robustly transitive goes through what's called the Frank's Manning theory, which implies giving certain topological classification first in order to get uh, some dynamical properties. So let me state uh, a topological classification conjecture by Pushals of uh, strong partially hyperbolic systems in dimension three. What, what the conjecture claims is that in every transitive uh, strong partially hyperbolic system, I, I will define this later, uh, falls into essentially one of two classes. So the, there are the algebraic examples, which are an also in T3. And so uh, strong partial hyperbolicity means into, into three bundles, so this is with three different eigenvalues. And the other kind of algebraic example are skew products over T2 over Anosov. And this implies that the manifold is either the three torus or uh, a non-toral nil manifold, which I will call nil. And, and the other kind of examples which appear are uh, the uh, time one maps of an ASOP flow. So before I continue, let me mention some uh, progress in this conjecture. The, there is a, a very general result by uh, Christian Bonatti and Amy Wilkinson giving some conditions and some uh, evidence that uh, on this conjecture and also uh, a very nice work uh, by Brim Buragua and Ivanov which works in other kind of manifolds. And so there is also a result by Hammerlindel and the fact that we are assuming that the partially hyperbolic system is transitive is necessary due to a recent example. So as I said, to this, this alone is not enough, and, uh, but it's kind of an ingredient in the Frank's Manning theory, but even, even if we have a leaf conjugacy result, even if we, we get this uh, topological classification, we don't have uh, yet uh, dynamical conclusions. There are some works by Bonatti and Gwellman which uh, work in the time one map of an of flows. So in the, in the cases I say we have, we can say something uh, due to our results, but not uh, enough in a, in a certain sense. So let me go to the definitions. This, um, so what I would cons be concerned is in a strong partially hyperbolic systems three-dimensional manifold, so 
we are asking that the band, uh, tangent bundle splits into three one-dimensional bundles. This must all have dimension one. And uh, essentially, we are asking that this bundle is uniformly contracted, this one is uniformly expanded, and there is a domination between them. Okay, that's expressed in, an, in that definition. And in order to get a classification, we must first study the integrability problem of these uh, bundles. Okay, so for these two bundles, this, it is uh, well known and by uh, the results of Hirsch Pugh Shu. And for the center bundle, it's, it's already an interesting question. And here is the definition I will use about uh, of dynamical coherence, which is to have, I will say that a strong partially hyperbolic diffeomorphism is uh, dynamically coherent if both these two sum of bundles integrate into an F invariant foliation, okay? This already implies the existence of a center foliation, and this allows one to define the, this that appears in Pusha's conjecture, the, the concept of leaf conjugacy. And so leaf conjugacy, if you have two strong partially hyperbolic systems which are dynamically coherent, So they are a uh, leaf conjugate. If there exists a homeomorphism of the manifold, which sends center leaves into center leaves, it's the homeo, and conjugates the dynamics modulo these center leaves. So we have M, if we quotient by the center's leaves of F, H is here, H. So we have homeomorphism which sends center manifolds into center manifolds and uh, which conjugates the dynamics modulo this, what happens in the center manifolds. It's, it's essentially all we can hope because inside the center leaves we can uh, modify the dynamics almost as, as we please, okay? So in particular, once your leaf conjugate to this one, for example, the center leaves must all be embedded lines in this, in this case, all center leaves must be circles, and here we have a mixed behavior. Okay, so, okay, so this is the statement of uh, of the result uh, we have with Andy Hammerlindel, which says the following. Okay, this is based in other results I will comment now. The thing is that if we have a strong partially hyperbolic system and we, we want to have one of the following conditions, either we have that the manifold is the torus and there is no attracting Or if M is a non-toral nil manifold, then we get these two results. First, we get that these bundles are integrable. And the other result is that F is leaf conjugate. linear part. This means that the action in homology. 
Okay, so let me state some, before I, I state previous results, let me state some corollaries. Uh, the first one is that in the case where F is transitive, then uh, this uh, attracting or, or repelling torus cannot exist, so we get the result. And also, which, which is also interesting, is that in the isotopy class of an ozone, since we can prove that these toros are uh, incompressible, we, we also cannot have uh, this situation. So we get this result in those cases. Now I, I will state some previous results which are related and on which this work is, is based. There is a, a, a result by Brim Burago Ivanov which essentially proves uh, dynamical coherence in the three toros uh, for without this assumption, but uh, with a stronger hypothesis on the domination on the, of these bundles. He asked for what's called absolute domination. And, and they, they get a dynamical coherence for every uh, partially hyperbolic system in the three toros, and, and this was used by uh, Hammerlindel and then by Parwani, the, sa the same ideas, they got similar result, they generalized this to, to nil manifolds, they got this kind of results too for those uh, strong partially hyperbolic systems, and, uh, and it, what's also important is that they show and there are no assumptions on the strong partial hyperbolicity that the isotopy class of a partially hyperbolic system must be the correct one. Must, they must lie in one of these classes. Okay? However, uh, in the general strong partially hyperbolic case, this hypothesis cannot be removed. There is a recent example by uh, Hannah Rodriguez Hertz, Federico Rodriguez Hertz, and Raul Lures which shows an open set of partially hyperbolic systems which are not dynamically coherent in the three torus. Okay, so, of course, they, they do not uh, admit that uh, stronger notion of partial hyperbolicity, but they, they form open sets and they cannot integrate into foliations. In fact, they have either attracting or uh, both attracting and repelling torus. Okay. They don't have a central position. They, 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 yeah, but they don't have neither uh, center position. They, they branch the, the leaves. Okay, so um, now I will try to give the. No, uh, of course not. Uh, So I, I will give the main ingredients of uh, of the of the proof. So essentially, I, I will go quite quickly to the main ingredients because I want to talk about a very specific problem in in the leaf conjugacy part of the proof in some case. And so let me say that there is a very important result. Uh, which works for every partially hyperbolic systems and on which Brim Burago Ivanov's result is based, that there exist certain branching foliations tangent to the center stable and to the center unstable foliations. And so, assuming that these foliations have no uh, two dimensional torus, we can prove that these foliations essentially lie close to invariant planes of the action in homology. So essentially we can prove we have these certain branching foliations, which I, I won't say what, what they are. The, the diffeomorphism has this branching foliation and this branching foliation is close to an F star invariant and the same holds for 
it's u. And so the, the main point in the proof is to get a global product structure between these branch foliations in the universal cover and the, for example, between this one and the unstable. This will give that essentially that these branch foliations cannot uh, branch. Okay, so a key point to get global product structure. So essentially the, the, the main point in the argument is that to get uh, this global product structure, we discuss depending on the isotopy class of the diffeomorphism. So we have one case, uh, one f, this is the action in homology, is an also. Okay, since these foliations lie close to invariant planes which are invariant by the homology, these are totally rational. And so this implies that there is no holonomy. And then uh, very classical results on codimension one foliations allow one to get a global product structure almost for free. And then in the in the case where F star is an also times the identity, this includes also the nil manifold case if we twist a little bit here, then to, to get global product structure here, we have to really discuss which are the F invariant planes close to each uh, foliation. And that involves certain growth arguments uh, and stuff, but I will, I, I would like to concentrate on, on this because the main remark is that in this case, we don't get a priori uh, knowledge on which are the invariant planes close to each foliation, and this is kind of bad to obtain these conditions, okay? Because we want to get leaf conjugacy to the linear part, which is also partially hyperbolic, okay? So, okay, in nil manifolds, we do this. This is, we, we, we are assuming that there are no, no torus, so we can apply this classification, and this is kind of the, the idea of the proof. And so let me concentrate in, in this case, in the Anosov case, in order to get a leaf conjugacy. So the, the hypothesis now is we have a, a strong partially hyperbolic system such that it's in the isotopy class of an Anosov diffeomorphism in T3, and assume that the, the Anosov diffeomorphism already has three different eigenvalues. So whenever you are in the isotopy class of Anosov, you have a, a semi-conjugacy in the universal cover, or uh, which descends to the manifold also, with the linear part. And essentially, this semi-conjugacy sends uh, stable manifolds into stable manifolds, and stable manifolds into unstable manifolds. So it's easy to see that, that the, we are assuming that the stable bundle of the Anosov is two-dimensional, so we get that the unstable manifold is mapped um, injectively into the unstable manifold of the Anosov. However, the stable manifold is, all we know is that it is contained in the, in the stable bundle, which is two-dimensional, so it can be quite weird. And the, the main point, is that if, if the strong stable manifold does not remain close to the one it should be, uh, no, well, the main point is to prove that the, it's close to the one it should be. So uh, if the, the main point is that if this does not happen, then it should be mapped inside the weak uh, stable uh, set. Okay, so we have This is the strong stable. This is the stable. Here we have the unstable. So the, the, the unstable is mapped here, and the stable is mapped into something here. What I say is, if it goes away from here, using the semi-conjugacy, we get that 
this uh, manifold must be close to the strong stable, which is what we want. So if it does not happen, then the, st the strong stable must be mapped exactly here. And this uh, gives, uh, this contradicts the fact that, uh, no, th this gives non-accessibility of the partially hyperbolic system, but accessibility, this property is C1 robust and accessibility can be created by perturbation. And this is how uh, we prove that the, the bundles are the, the good ones. So thank you very much. <laughs>